Hi guys, me Dai Trash Break right in this another video and today I'll be doing the unboxing for the Solido McLaren F1 LM. So let's dive straight to this unboxing video right now. Alright then before I dive straight to unboxing this video, this model right here, sorry. Uh let me take a look at outside the box itself. Well, it's, I would say this packaging itself is very similar to Burago itself because usually for cheap, cheaper and uh, die cast model, you would usually have this transparent look where you can look 360, not almost really, I would say almost like 360 degree view of the model itself but uh, yeah, overall concept right, I think it's quite similar to Burago but yeah, let me just talk about the main thing right here. So mainly it does, I'm not too sure what this means but uh, you, I think it was meant for solid competition, maybe. Primary, I'm wrong right there, but on the, on the other side right here, you got the mod, uh, the model branding itself with Solido, and you got the model right here with McLaren F1 LM, the shorter version of the McLaren uh, LT long tail. Right at the side of the box itself, nothing really much to say other than you got the website to buy your model from, the more the, the Solido branding itself, and the rear of the McLaren F1. Moving on to the rear itself is quite simple. It got the company history itself about Solido itself and how Solido got started and it got all their social media page to get all the models from. So anyway, if anyone is interested in any Solido models, you can head on to their Facebook page, Twitter or Instagram to find out more about itself. Right at the corner right here you got the Solido branding itself which is simply throughout all this everywhere in the box itself. Moving on, we got the front of the the, the other side of the box, which I just mentioned to you guys over there. You got the front of the, tra the box itself. So on, I mean, yeah, mainly on this this side, you get the front of the car, which is the McLaren F1 LM. More on that, the branding itself and the website to get all your models from. Now let's move on to the top part. Top part is quite simple because there's really nothing much showing guys other than this is a one eighteen steel model itself. And right at the bottom is all the uh, licensing deal to for this model itself. Other than that, let me just unbox this model for you guys right now. Alright then, so here it is, the model finally out with the box itself. This is my Solido McLaren F1 LM itself, from Solido itself, and this is my first mo Solido model into the collection. Initially, I really didn't hear about Solido itself until some other uh, die-cast collector get it, and I see, I feel the collector Quality wise isn't that bad and they are starting to do more uh, models itself that quite that made me quite interested might I might get it in the future but yeah overall the doors really doesn't one downside I have for this model itself is if you to open the iconic butterfly doors from the McLaren itself it doesn't really stay up if uh, if you can say it. so many it like the old auto up Lamborghini model where you need to have something below it to so that it will hold up other than if you to just let it go the door will just close itself, so that's the only downside of it. But I think for paying, I think I paid about ninety five sing dollars for this. Uh, I think this is what you expect from a ch cheap. I would call it a cheap diecast model itself. So yeah, you definitely can't compare it to uh, mini champs, which they also do it. But back then they were do they were still doing it. Now it's quite hard to find. So I think mini champs will be slightly better because they it will be able to hold the doors up. But so little itself. Uh, you will expect this because they are a cheaper brand, cheaper model, so doors the way don't really stay up. But I'm going to save it all for the review. If you want to see me review this model, model itself, hit the like button down right below to, so that I know that you guys want to see a review of this. But yeah, other than that, that's all I'll say for this video itself. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Diecast Break. And my account should pop right about here. And if you see more models for my collection, you can follow me on DV Collection on Instagram. And it should be popping right about here. And click the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this or click the subscribe and click to see my two other videos. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh.